Hello, Karen here. Welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd just have a bit of a chat with you today, give you a bit of a break after the rather intense 30 day phrasal verb challenge. If you did this challenge and if you didn't do this challenge with me, you can still do it. You can start the challenge at any time. I'll put a link to the playlist up here and also down in the description box below. Start with my day zero video where I talk a little bit more about this challenge. Phrasal verbs are not easy. So hopefully my 30 day challenge will help you learn some more phrasal verbs. And you might want to continue learning more phrasal verbs after you finish the challenge. If you did do this 30 day challenge with me, then you should be really proud of yourself. You would have learned a lot of phrasal verbs, a lot of new words and some idioms as well. And you would have written a lot of sentences and stories to discuss with your teacher. Like I said, phrasal verbs are not easy. So it's good to make sure that you're using them correctly. So make sure that you discuss your sentences and stories with your teacher. <gasps> I haven't filmed in here in ages. I think we should film in here more often. <gasps> this is cool. So while you were doing this 30 day challenge, I was doing my own challenge. I did a 21 day sugar detox. Well, it actually ended up being more like 30 days. So basically for 30 days, I just ate healthy food. That's all I ate. Amazingly. I have a bit of an issue with dessert. I tend to have dessert after almost every meal, which I didn't think was very good for my health. So I thought I'd try and cut back on my sugar intake. And I did this quite aggressively by cutting sugar out entirely rather than just cutting back. So yeah, I thought I'd try this 21 day sugar detox challenge and surprisingly I survived. I don't like to cook, but because a lot of our food these days has so much sugar in it, I rarely ate out during this time. There are restrictions in Hong Kong at the moment and we can't actually dine in at restaurants after 6 p.m. So this was actually perfect timing. So yeah, I've just been cooking at home and eating a lot of vegetables. I actually didn't have any fruit during this challenge. I had lemons and limes. Yes, technically they're fruits, <laughs> but they're not sweet. Uh, so, but that's it. In terms of fruit, that's all I ate. Oh no, I had bananas and avocados because they're not sweet either. <laughs> well, green bananas because they're not ripe yet, so they're not sweet. So I cooked a lot more than I normally would. I don't cook generally. I don't like to cook. I'm not interested in cooking. I don't think I'll ever be interested in cooking. But because there's so much sugar in our food these days, I had to fend for myself. I had to cook dishes from scratch. So I learned a lot about cooking during this challenge. Now they weren't the best of dishes. They weren't the tastiest of dishes. Some of them were good. Some of them weren't all that great. <laughs> But when you're restricted, you sort of just have to go with whatever's available. So meat, veggies and dairy were pretty much all I ate during this challenge. At the beginning of the challenge, I craved sugar like you wouldn't believe. So I found a way to trick myself. Like I said, I always have dessert after lunch or dinner, not after breakfast. So I always have dessert after lunch or dinner. And so what I did was I made sure that I always had a milkshake in the fridge ready for me to have for dessert. And a friend of mine suggested that I have cheese for dessert because dairy is OK. So I went and bought some brie and some blue cheese and had that as well. So that was my way of still having dessert every day, just choosing healthier alternatives. So still within the rules and I still got to have my dessert. So milk sort of ended up being the sweet thing in my diet during this detox challenge. Can you believe it? Who would have thought that milk would be sweet? I didn't think it was sweet at all <laughs> before starting this challenge. But yeah, now it actually tastes quite sweet to me. And during this challenge, I didn't have any carbs. So things like bread, rice, pasta, noodles, I couldn't have any of it. So if I was going to eat out, I would choose a Western restaurant and have a salad 
Or I would choose a Japanese restaurant and have sashimi, sliced uh, raw fish. So January was very busy for me, trying to get all the phrasal verb videos out for you on time and also trying to stay healthy and not starve to death. Oh, and I also did meal plans, which I haven't done in years. Like I said, I don't cook, so I don't really prepare meals. So yeah, I was really happy with that. I was really happy with the start of my year. What's your New Year's resolution? My New Year's resolution is to be healthier this year, because like I said, I eat a lot of sugar. <laughs> so I'm going to try and cut back on sugar this year. And I started the year off going cold turkey and not having any sugar at all. So now after doing this detox challenge, I'm just going to go back to eating less sugar rather than no sugar, because I still want to enjoy my life. Thank you for joining me today. I don't normally just sit here and chat with you like this. Let me know if you liked this vlog and whether I should do more of them this year. I'll be back next week with another listening practice video for you. I have a lot of other listening practice videos on my channel if you'd like to continue to work on your listening practice in the meantime. Thanks again for joining me today and I'll see you back here next week. Bye.